Positive Youth Justice Initiative is a grant um, which was awarded to San Joaquin County along with some other counties in the beginning. Um, it is designed, it was initially designed to change the outcomes of youth who entered the justice system. So Positive Youth Justice is sort of an initiative whereby we're looking at ways to radically affect the juvenile justice system for youth in San Joaquin County. And we do that in two ways. One, we do that by recognizing that there are adverse childhood experiences that affect the development of young people and sometimes affect their choices and decision making. So part of it is recognizing adverse childhood experiences and putting trauma-informed systems in place to help young people recover from those experiences. But it's not just about a deficit approach to something happened to you, but it's also about recognizing that every young person, no matter where they are, no matter what they've experienced, is an amazing, resilient, hope for our future and that there's lots that they have to offer and give and it's about building up the positive aspects the pro-social supports in their lives so that we can create them into the leaders of tomorrow our kids in san joaquin county i think oftentimes they get in ruts or um, they come become a product of their environment such as where they live and so sometimes there's those influences um, that aren't pro-social they're negative and it appears like that's an enticing lifestyle. Um, but with today's event, um, the families, the students, the parents, they get to hear from, from people who've been through situations who kind of walk that line and um, kind of hear the, the stories that they, of what they went through and realizing that there's more to life than what they um, grew up in and realizing that there's so much more out there, there's so much more potential and you don't have to be a product of your neighborhood. You can be a product of your own as long as you apply yourself and helping them connect with those gifts and abilities that they've been given. Uh, this day is important for the parents and the students because, for example, there'll be one similar topic but told from two different points of view. Um, and a lot of times with, you know, when you're working with a young person, um, it can feel like maybe the world or the people that are caring for you really don't understand where you're coming from. So taking one common subject and sort of putting it from both points of view and then bringing everyone back together at the end of the day um, to talk about what we both understand from a situation is what we hope that the young people gain from today as well as the parents. A deeper understanding for um, what a young person is experiencing when they go through these things and then also what a caregiver or a parent is going through when their child has faced these type of issues. Today was great. I was here in San Joaquin County with the Positive Youth Justice Initiative and it was terrific. I really believe it went well. I did two sessions today, two breakout sessions, and I got a really good response. I had an oversubscribed session, the first one with the parents, which is always good to talk to parents and caretakers. And I also had a very well uh, subscribed um, session with the adolescents themselves. Got a lot of questions, which is always a good indicator. And looking at everybody who came, there's a lot of smiles, a lot of energy. It was just great. And I just am so glad for San Joaquin County Probation, County Office of Ed that have always worked with me and always invited me. Daniel Longoria, newprovisions.org, to come and share my story of perseverance and strength. It's really, really important just to be real. The topic of uh, what Daniel was talking about is get real, um, not looking at your past. So just being able to should be real and talk about um, Daniel's past is something really, really important. Um, if we don't really understand our past, it's hard for us to kind of gauge and go into our future. Um, a lot of our youth appreciate the fact that um, although, although um, some of these conversations we think we hear every day or oh, been there, done that, seen that in my own families, um, for Daniel to come up and just show um, the realness of what he does um, it's something so amazing that you don't get to get um, very often.